Welcome to the European Fishing League, home of the top anglers, the biggest fish and the coolest venues. So far we've seen some incredible battles both in Holland and in Finland. Things are now hotting up as the competition is entering its final stage. Coming, coming, coming. There we go, upgrade fish. Yes! 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 yes. At the end, sorry, I'm so emotional because we know there's a big perch here. <laughs> yes! <laughs> what a fucking balloon! <laughs> yeah, fish! Yes. <laughs> First cast! Yeah! Yes! <laughs> yes. <laughs> Woo! Oh, Good fish. Oh. Hey, nice fish. Listen, listen, listen. Yeah, I can't even That's a good fish, right here. That's a nice fish. Welcome to Finland and round two of the European Fishing League. The guys have got full cards already. Today is all about the upgrade. We're on a lake. It's going to be quite technical, but today they've got live. Remember, by the end of today, somebody will emerge as champion. This is European Fishing League, and today it's game on. Today is the end game, so it's time to step up. For the first part of the day, it's traditional casting only, but for the afternoon, the teams are allowed to use live scan. The scoreboard shows just how tight it is. Everyone has a full card. Catching fish is not enough. It's big fish that matter today, and that means good tactics are crucial. Welcome to the lake day, everyone. Welcome. We all we all have uh, full cards. We all have good average. So today, it's only about large fish. We don't have to go and find the pike and catch a 70 or 80 and fill the card. Uh, I am super super pumped up. It's the it's a final day of the EFL. It's lake day, and we have been planning back and forth, back and forth, different stuff, uh, tactics. And yeah, but it's going to be a war out there today and Jesus, I am so pumped up. We're at the last place at the moment, but uh, we are ready as hell yeah. to take over some positions today. Yes. And it's all, I think it's really close in the bottom. We are just three centimeters from uh, Okuma and uh, 30 centimeters from, from CVC. So it's only matters of yeah. two or three fishes overrated and then we are yeah. in the game again. Yeah, this, this lake we know it swims some really heavy fish here, over 120. So everything can change today. Uh, if some of the teams manage to catch one or two of these big mamas swimming around here, it's going to be an exciting day and we have Pierre. So uh, I'm going to put him in the front and uh, we're going to do what we can. Yeah, we, have to. No, we have no choice. We need to take those fish because uh, so far we have a few small fish to change and uh, we need to change those one with some really big one. Feels good. Let's do this, Klaus. Feels good to be on top of the world. Yeah. <laughs> the front motor down my friend okay we are in the first spot uh, we located lots of uh, activity here lots of uh, bait fish and uh, some bigger sander and so on around this area it's it's a flat it's deep outside and and uh, some structure and uh, hopefully we can find a big mama around this island here so watch us 
Here on the lake, it's it's more tricky for us. Um, we have never been in that lake before, and and uh, you know uh, we don't know how the the fish are. We don't know if they have gone out deep or they are still shallow. So and we have only only one day to to practice. So it's gonna be uh, the tough tough one. So we we just arrived at the first area. We're gonna try targeting. We saw Truman stop at some structure outside of the spawning base. Probably a really good place to start. The good thing is like we're gonna we're gonna be doing this a couple of hours just trying to find bait fish or a structure out here on deep water. Uh, maybe we can see some pike on the side views <clears throat> and that's where we're gonna target our fishing. We're not gonna catch a bunch of fish. We might not even catch any fish but we need to catch big fish today. It's not about filling a paper. It's only about big fish. Yeah, now we're at the first place and we, we're gonna start out here in a shallow part of the, of the lake. And we had some fish here during training, so we have high beliefs in this place, but we're gonna drift up here and it's a lot of weeds. It's one and a half meter and a lot of weeds up here. And gonna drift down again and try to catch a morning pike on shallow water. Yeah, we really want an er early start here with a pike. After Archipelago Day, we have three that's 70 centimeters. So we need to, to increase those fishes to start with. And if we only catch one fish before Okuma, that's over 74, then we take one position. Nice. Please? I'm not sure. Yep. Nice. Oh, it was honey. Sorry. Shit. It's, yeah, that was definitely fish. It was it's such a tiny bite. And I'm, to be honest, I'm a bit shaky at the moment. <laughs> I wasn't fishing that very well. First bite. So at least there is one fish here. <laughs> we maybe didn't make such a bad call at all. We will see. I think it's really important to. Keep, keep an eye on the score to see where and when somebody catch anything. Since we know so little about this lake, all clues is going to be very valuable. What's the same for all teams? Oh, pike! Nice! Fish on! Oh, it's a nice one, it's a nice one. Good. Come on. It's a decent one. It's not super small. Ooh. You know, we fish barbless. Oh, no. <laughs> oh. Yes. Good on, pack. <laughs> we need it. <laughs> you know, we needed that so much. <laughs> and it's a quite decent one as well. Yeah, it's big. It's not super big, but for this lake and <laughs> the drip. <laughs> totally nailed the program. Good. I think it's a high 80, close to 90. Oh, I need to breathe a little bit. <laughs> I was just talking about how slow this lake was on training, and <laughs> second after that, boom, the pro shot. And you know, I really want to say that the whole natural series is super amazing good. And the perch color with the brownish. Uh, color is really nice. Caught me a lot of fish. 84? Yeah, 84. My great start. <laughs> really beautiful lake pike. Yeah, nice 84 centimeter on Pro Shad. A good start and exactly what we needed. So I'm gonna release this now and keep on fishing because the morning is good. So let's put it back. Nice, 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 nice. Yeah, this is uh, just back, uh, back on an island and uh, you have the deep, deep water just uh, close here. And uh, it seems like lots of warm water from the surface has pushed in here because when we were here pre-fishing it was lots of bait fish and, and uh, small sander around here. And you have some rocks and structure here and there, so 
It's like a gap between big island and a small island and we will drift slowly and see if we can meet some bigger fish here. Fish. fish! Yes! Yeah, but this is a small one. Yeah, but it's a fish, my friend. Oof. Ah. Uh, it's, it's a, a baby. One. Baby. <laughs> Oof. You know when you get a bite on a giant pig <laughs> shed like this, on this lake, for 10 million of seconds, you think it's... Oh, no! But I could feel it quite fast. Small one. But it's a good start anyway. We have some fish here. At least one. Yeah. Ooh. You can see the fins here for the spawning. This is a post-spawn fish trying to go out a little bit deeper to eat. So we did just scan the area. We, we found some couple of rocks in four meter deep and there was two pikes standing close to the rocks and we're gonna try to catch them. Let's see what happens. I am currently fishing the large raw bite and Hanu is fishing the bull tees. So if they're a bit active, I think that's like the big raw bite can really rattle them up. And if they're a little bit more <laughs> scarce, Hanu is doing a silent presentation with the with the bull tees. So uh, we'll see what happens. Hopefully uh, we'll get some information here. And uh, if the other teams start catching fish, we'll see it in the app and maybe we'll adapt. We see some uh, baits on the 2D sonar. So that's very interesting. We don't know what kind of bait it is. We don't even know what species that are coming in this lake, but uh, bait is always a good sign. If there's bait, there's pike. The water is quite murky. This is a small rattle chamber. And uh, if I put it in the tail, I will get some extra commotion in the bait. And uh, pikes, they mainly use their vision to hunt, but uh, they also use the lateral line they can feel vibrations in the water. So sometimes adding a little bit of rattle really helps. It's a rocky area. It is. Oh, fish. That's a Bad small one? one. No, it's small. It's small? small. Too small. No net? No net. Are you I don't sure? think so. Yeah? No? No. You see, they're starting to feed. Uh, really fat one. Fat belly. But at least we're catching fish more, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. Of course, we are not upgrading at the moment, but yeah, this kind of fishing, it's, we have a nice day, we are out, we are fishing, and uh, you know, chasing those upgrades, but it's still fishing and it's super fun. So, I mean, let's say if this wasn't a competition, a day like this with this weather, standing here, the stream are coming out and the fish are biting. This is uh, this is one of the reasons we actually fish. This is super nice. What well, fun? Fish! At least it's bigger than the previous ones, but it's not it's, a it's not like that river monster we were hoping for, but yeah, but, but this one is over 69 I think. It comes? Yeah. Maybe. You think? Yeah, that's the yeah, over so. yeah, so. They're so fat. What, look at this one. Oh my! For that small fish, he he. I mean, honestly, he ate he ate McDonald's and Burger King and fucking Kentucky Fried Chicken the whole menu this morning. Look at that head. Yeah, oh. that's a fat fish. This one just had breakfast. <laughs> yeah, and he had a, the whole shebang. The he whole had menu. the whole shebang. 76. 76 it centimeters, the, so that approves uh, our result by 7 centimeters, I guess. Yeah, yeah, yep. it's good. It's a good update. 
It's a good update. Look, Look yeah, that belly. Congratulations to Akuma, a cracking fish to start the day with. The margins are small, and the decent fish like this can make a huge difference to the leaderboard. It's going to be fun to see how long time it will take before some of the other teams come here and fish our spot. And we have seen Truman far away there. And we know that Mo we talked to Okuma, Mog and, uh, and Nell Fosch and they were talking about they have put on the vibration. Every time somebody catch a fish, they get a notification on the phone. So it's going to be fun <laughs> to see. Oh, fish on. Nice fish again. Oh, this is a nice fish. Oh. Good pie. Ooh. This place is nice. Could be oh, down, down with the down with the road. Yeah, yeah, I'm really down. <sighs> Ooh, it's a super pike. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Mm, yes, we have it. It's nice. <laughs> Great take time. Very good, pie. Oh uh, yeah. Oh, nice one. Beautiful pike. I think it's 87. 87, okay. Great pike. The show is going on with an 87 centimeter long pike. Really beautiful, smash the bait again. And I am in heaven right now. <laughs> it's perfect. Yeah, we need to keep on hammering to catch another one, but what a pike and what a start of this day. <laughs> Good work, pal. So Fox, uh, Fox just updated with another 80 fish, and they are in a shallow bay with a lot of grass. So they found some active fish, and they have actually gone up. So we are at the last last uh, spot at the moment, but we are catching fish. So you never know; we will chase them. So today it's lake day and I, to me it's a kind of a love and hate relationship. Uh, there's supposed to be really big fish there, but we didn't manage to catch anyone at pre-fishing. We had a real poor result, but hey, it's a new day, new, uh, new possibilities, new pikes to catch. There's a big rocky edge here and then there's a deep deep hole close by the rocks and we are facing the edge of the rocky area let's see what happens yep fish fish any size i don't know but you should bring the net yep yeah, this could right be better away. For, first ca cast in the rocks right. second maybe i don't know nice man we have fish <laughs> the raw bite is working like when awesome. the raw bite is working it's super hard to beat it it's just so fun. We just came up here. We have lots of shallow bays in here. And we have uh, rocks and, and uh, islands and we have rocky structure going out in the deeper part of the lake. This anchored here, there was a lot of bait fish. Second cast on a raw bite. Whew. Awesome. Oh man. <laughs> hey there little baby. Woo. I hope it's upgrade, but it's it might not be. Now it's 76. 76? Yep. Nice start on the raw bite. Good job, man. Yeah. First fish. Nice. That's also fun. Even though we're targeting big fish, it's always fun catching some. There is a really, really rocky place here. Very big rocks as well. So I like to rig my lures a bit differently. Just to not get stuck all the time in the rocks. You, because you have to change the hooks all the time. Yeah. The hooks get worn out, so I, I like to add some weight in the belly, so even I hook it in the back of the lure, it doesn't flip around. So this is a good tip if you're fishing uh, rocky places and you don't want to get your hooks unsharpened. I got one. I told you. Just a small mouth, but it's a pike. Now I'm gonna show you guys an instant release with the barbless hooks. You see that? That's how you do it. It's if it's hard. not a keeper, 
It's been a tough morning so far with not so many fish caught. All of the teams know how important it is to catch and the pressure is starting to show on their faces. I think the, the biggest challenge for us is we know so little about this lake. Like there, there's no, not any accurate depth charts. Uh, we don't really know what lives in it, what swims in it. What kind well, of bait fish it is. Yeah, so we're fishing in the dark here. But you know what? Like, oh, I got one. Good one. No, a small one. Yeah, but it's a good that you caught one. Klaus, he's a vicious pike fisherman. Yeah, that one is... This one, this one has been around. Yeah, it's pretty damaged from the spawn. You know what? I love these toothy critters in any size. Bye-bye, darling. Yeah, we just uh, we try one side of this island with some nice structure, some uh, small echoes also, or some, some bait fish. So we're going to try the other side now. Uh, we try both sides and we're going to really fish slow and uh, take our time because we know it's not going to be so many bites. But I think you have to fish quite carefully all the spots. So uh, yeah, we'll see. We go step by step and we have a few other places that we want to try. So we'll see. Ooh, fish! Ooh. Good? Yeah, I don't know. No, it's a small one. Super small? Oh. Yeah, no, no net. <laughs> Maybe in the future, this one will be big. Bye bye. Oh, fish! Is it good? No, that's a small one again. Oh. Oh. I like this color, eh? Yeah, yeah. Okay, bye bye. Yeah, the biggest threat is uh, Team Vestin, for Big sure. Time. At least the afternoon. Yeah. Because they are quite good with uh, this uh, live uh, stuff. So that would be interesting. But so far, Fox did quite good. They have, uh, they find a nice place. They're not so far from us, more inside the bay, quite shallow. And they have a couple of fish, decent size. So of course, yeah, if you find those kind of fish, you can find a big one also. So they have a chance to catch something nice. Yeah. So now we try something similar, try to go more inside the bay and uh, try to, to find them there also. With an upgrade, Fox Rage have moved up one position, overtaking Akuma and sitting now equal with Catch With Care. There's another 30 centimeter gap then to Westin, who were just five centimeters behind current leaders, Abu Garcia. This is gonna be really close. Uh, I'm changing because they seem to go for the rubber, uh, but yeah, Mugge has uh, Mugge has uh, um, the weedless one, but I will go for a six grammer uh, with the rip system, but the same color in the big boom shad, 24 centimeter, and I will put a, a trigger with some rattling in the in the paddle, but the same color but a bigger one. Good job! Uh, is it, uh, it's not over, huh? I don't know. No, no. No, it's, no, no, it's not. It's, no, it's not. not. It's not. It's tiny, It's huh? a tiny one. Oof, but it felt like a big one. <laughs> it's almost the size of the lure. So there's no need to be afraid to fish bigger lures when you're going for pike. In the surface. <laughs> Did you saw that? No. I heard was taking voice. the bait and swim 10 meters towards the boat <laughs> in 100 km per hour. That was crazy take. The craziest, one of the craziest in my whole life. <laughs> I'll just put it on the board immediately. 77. Seven. It's 77, okay. okay? It's upgrade. Yeah, I need to keep on fishing now because it's super hot here. I have ma made maybe 10 casts and 3 pikes, so I need to put this one back and keep on fishing. 
Bye bye beauty. Thank you, thank you. You rock, yep. Per. Congratulations to Fox. They really seem to be on the pace now and are moving up the leaderboard again. Yeah, now you can see behind the, or front of us, that's uh, Abu Garcia. And I think they go straight uh, to fish the area where the guy from uh, Fox is fishing. Uh, it's exactly the direction and nobody finds really anything. So far it's the only team that meets some, uh, some decent pike. So I think they go straight there. So um, yeah, probably a good idea because this is the only place so far that works. So uh, it would be uh, nice to see in maybe uh, one hour if they start to meet fish also there. We switched side of the lake. The bride have not really been on at our starting point. So let's try and see if the reefs on this side are more productive. Honey treff. Yo, I got one. But it's a small one. It's a small fish. But it's always nice. It was on the the Scylla, Litless. It's actually a rattle bait that's very good when you fish, fish it fast. I was just retrieving it fast. It had a lot of rattles. It's perfect when you want to cover a lot of water. You know Roxette? Yeah, I love Roxette. Ah, oh, I got one, another one. I got another one. Scylla Litless. Better? Uh, I don't think it's better, but is that a better fish? Or? No, I don't think it's better, but... Where's the fish? Uh, it's not that big. No. Do you want to net it? Or? No, no, it's okay. Okay. Here's the culprit. The little Scylla lipless. And this is such a beauty. Yeah, that's a beautiful fish. But now the fishing is on fire, so I just have to... Cool, that looks like a ton bobbler. Make another cast. I was, you know, retrieving really fast class. Fish on. Red. Good size. Maybe. I don't really know. Nice. Okay, it's coming. Keep tension. Coming, 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 coming. Take it. Yes. Oh, nice. Good, Victor. I think that could be an upgrade. In the shallow water. <laughs> good, buddy. You don't need to tell you that the perch color is good anymore. No, <laughs> it's great. Oh, it's beautiful. It's over 80. Yeah. For sure. High 80. <laughs> Ooh, take it easy, take it easy. You're the best. 83. It's not high, but it's good. Really good pike. So nice. We covered a little bit more new area. Yeah, a little bit more spot. shallower. Yeah. We were starting in the middle and now we're fishing. So nice. The edge, so. Great. We're They're standing there fish. as well. Victor's a newcomer to the EFL. This is his first year, but he's fishing with his teammate that he's fished with for many, many years. In fact, they grew up together. He's from Stockholm. He loves spin fishing for pike, but equally, he's really, really slow and patient. He's completely the opposite to his partner, and that makes these two a really good combination. He likes a plan, doesn't particularly like it when the plan's not working, but if he's got a plan and it's working, he's really, absolutely down the line with it. He'll follow it to the very end, knowing that it's going to work. He's had a number of competition successes again, just like his partner, second in the Swedish National Championships, 186 boats. That's an incredibly good result. And once again, another YouTuber as well, a new young breed of angler that is coming up and showing people how to fish, influencing how they work, and also catching a lot of fish too. He's been fishing 20 years in the archipelago. He's grown up with it, he knows it very well, and he is an exceptionally good, safe pair of hands. It is just empty. No followers, no bites, no like, no nothing. We have fished on the, on the structures, on the stones, jerk bait, soft bait, in the weeds. 
in the reeds. <laughs> so far, yeah, 10 minutes before our lunch report. And uh, yeah, it's, it's uh, pretty slow. We can't, we, we can't find really anything good. Uh, on the shallows that we try, we find only small fish. Uh, and on the deep, you don't find any bait fish or anything. So we try to fish some structure, but uh, yeah, so far, nothing, uh, nothing. <laughs> So we just need to keep, go keep going and maybe we try something different after lunch, maybe, uh, I don't know, we need to think about this, check the map and uh, see, check the app again, maybe somebody gets something, uh, something else and we need to, to make a plan. Uh, but it's not over, still plenty of hours to fish, so uh, yeah, everything can happen. So now we're going to regroup, we're going to eat some lunch and then we're going to turn on the live scope and we're going to see if we can find some some uh, pike and present lures like super slow in front of them and stuff and see if that can make a difference if we can find them yeah because days like mm. this they might need it super close and super super slow yeah i, I think we can make a difference yeah with the yeah. presentation and stuff yeah it's Should gonna be, be it's gonna be a fun afternoon but this this <laughs> first half of the day, <laughs> it's been fun, but it's been tough. Uh, we are in the third place right now with 669, and uh, we have some centimeter to the other guys, so we need to increase our smallest fish, and we're gonna go all in now. Yes, and now we take them, catch them. I mean, both you and I are pretty rookies on this stuff. You are you tried it a couple of times. You caught some fishes. I never caught a fish using a live scope. I never used it. I've had it in my boat for a year. Uh, I only used it to see weed beds and rocks. I never used it to target fish. So this is going to be a pretty interesting experiment. Well, what do you think we should do? Do you think we should go all, all out Pac-Man? Yeah, yeah. Well, let's, let's do it. Let's do some tournament practice during the tournament. Yeah, we will see what works for us. But let's yeah. let's try the spot where you caught the two fish on the lipless scylla. Yeah. See okay. if there's any more. I mean, we're still in the league. Yeah. I mean, anything can happen. Let's know? go. Every cast counts. Go, Abu Garcia! <laughs> <laughs> so with the afternoon session about to start, a new tactic comes into the equation. Live scan. So far, the teams have had to use their watercraft and basic tech, but live brings a completely new dimension, and they can now hunt individual fish by size. We have started fishing with the live sonars now, and uh, you can see the steam over there. CVC is fishing over there, and it's not you not don't need to fish with live, but you are allowed to fish with live, and you can do that different style. You can fish it normal and just look for structure, look for fish and bait fish, and you can do what we are doing right now, and that's it's about searching up the big fish. Uh, we're just uh, starting now. We had lunch. And uh, we know that by the scoreboard, one, one big fish can change everything for us. So uh, we're looking for that big bite now. Uh, it would be nice to fish over one meter and everything can change. So I think really everything can happen between, uh, between all the teams. So we just need to keep focus and uh, take that big bite now. We are in place. We, will, uh, we anchored up. A bit before the shallow base, uh, we, on the training we scanned this area, it's a lot of structure, a lot of stones, but it's on the way into the shallow base. So we will make a quick stop here and see if we can get any reaction, any bite. If not, we will just keep on into the bay. Can you see the fish? Fish is here. Yeah. And it's moving over. a lot. There. Go. I can't see it. anything. There's the lure. Yeah, this is gonna be a good one. It's not a super fish, but. Yeah, the lure is perfect now. Yeah. Up, 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 up. It's coming, 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 coming. It's coming. Yep. Oh, come on. Escape. A bit. A bit more. It's still coming. Oh! oh. oh. Yes! Just by the boat. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> <Woo>. <laughs> 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 that didn't take many minutes. No. <laughs> awesome. It, you know how many minutes it took? The perfect amount of minutes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we still had a fish now. It was a quite decent one. And you know, Hanu, he's a really great live scope fisherman. 
Yeah, he, the boat is totally, the upset, the setup is uh, totally for live scope fishing. So it's gonna be hard for us, but to keep up with Vestid maybe, but we will try. So this is a really good opportunity to see, like they're, they're not, they are super tricky because we presented a lure for the fish. It did come after, but I really had to work the fish. I had to do several like escape moves and like blind casting. I would never have done them in the right time. So this fish, I would never catch this one blind fishing because I would never know how to escape the lure like I was with this one because every time it kind of charged, I escaped with the lure and finally, just like at the boat, he took. So this fish would never, I would never catch it without the, oh, the live actually. This is crazy. And this is cool because this kind of fishing is super teamwork. And Hanu, he is one of the best in the world when it comes to live scope fishing and how to really do this. Because I, I, I'm telling you, I've done this a lot. <laughs> Hanu makes me feel like a freaking <laughs> <Thank> amateur. <you> <laughs> let's get it back in the water and let's catch a new one. Yeah. Hanu's the new boy at the table. This is his first time fishing in the European Fishing League. Now he's been with West in five years, but he's stepping up to fill some very big shoes. He's also the youngest angler here too, 26 years old, but do not let those young years fool you. He knows exactly what he's doing. He's got an advantage too, that he's the only Finnish angler here, so he's on home ground. He's caught some enormous fish. His PB Pike is 131. This man is potentially a real hot shot. Just keep an eye on him, he knows what he's doing. So how we're gonna do this now is, I'm gonna be back here uh, waiting to cast and Hanu is going to uh, maneuver the boat like a pro. And if we have a fish that's standing super inactive and really, really, really needs a very, very precise presentation, I'll go up in the front, Hanu will place the boat and we'll work a twin tease, just super close to the fish, super, super stealthy and uh, that can be the key of catching some of these super tricky pike. Yeah, we had the uh, waist in behind us, uh, so they start, they start the live scope now, and uh, I think I see them just starting one cast fish straight away, so uh, it's crazy. But that's, I think it's cool with, that, uh, with fishing, because you can improve if you know what to do. And uh, I think they were out to target where the fish were, in the morning because they were cruising around the, out there and then they start fishing shallow and then they directly out to the fish. That's cool! We are casting, we are casting for pike, we're casting, we're casting and I hope the pike's gonna bite. Team Western has caught their first fish, 94 uh -huh. centimeters. So, they are in the lead. Congratulations, boys. Well played. 10 meters, cast. Go get them. You're right on target. The horses are on the tracks. Boom. Come on, mother... Come on, you darn what it is. All right, it's coming after. Yeah, it didn't work this time though. Well, next time. Yeah, next There's time. There is always a next time. But I'm proud of you, boy. I'm proud of you. You're doing it. You're getting there. Love it. Slowly but steadily. Yeah, soon. The first cut is the deepest. Ooh, that's a fish. Good work, mate. Oh. I'm not sure if it will help us, but no, at least... it, it won't. It won't help us. It's a fish, Mogia. That That's a fish. good. 
good if, start of the afternoon. Yeah, if there's one, there's more. Yeah, it's a small one. <laughs> really small one. <laughs> bye bye, baby. Well, at least we caught a fish directly, directly after lunch. That feels good. Once again, the boom shad. Okay, with uh, that fish, we just passed Abu with uh, several centimeters. So it's gonna be super exciting because everyone has a lot, the live sonars. Everyone has trained for this. This is the whole plan with the, we, we all planned this together, all the teams to have like live in the last hours just to make it like if, if it's tricky fishing this can really liven up the situation so uh, everyone has been training everyone is prepared for this so it's going to be super cool to see the outcome and see if uh, if uh, me and Hanu can do a better job than them with the live scope let's hope so, man yeah 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 i am oh, super pumped we have here we have good fish here <laughs> no this is uh, this should be over one meter Yeah, the lure is there. Yeah, yeah, it's 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 good. okay. It's okay. Just and the fish uh, is. It's a slack line. Slack yeah. line. Yeah, that's good. That's good. Where's the fish? Oh, up, 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 up. Oh, oh, yeah. And, and, like... and, and it's coming. It's coming. Stop, oh stop, shit! Stop. Is it? Stop. Yeah, oh. that should be enough. And then escape. Yep. <laughs> Super! <laughs> <laughs> now we have meter fish. Oh, oh nice. <sighs> but these are tricky pike now. It's inhaled. Yeah, when he when he decided, it just frigging charged. Cool. Superman. Oh, man. 102. 102. That's that's the fish we need. Yeah, we need fish like this. This is uh, super nice, super nice individuals. <laughs> Just, uh, she was a bit tricky, but when she decided to get, get that bull this curly, <laughs> oh man, she just charged it. Yeah, totally inhaled the bait. Super cool. So let's check out the first scoreboard after lunch and there is a change at the top. Live scans really made a difference to the scoreboard. Westin have now taken the lead and not a small one either. They're now a long way ahead of the early leaders Abu Garcia. It's good uh, condition to find a fish here. Yeah. You, you know, it's not catching, it's fishing. You can see everything, you see the pikes and the fish on the sonar, but when you throw a perfect cast, let the bait sink and just in front of the nose, but no reaction. And we are working together all the time. Searching, searching with the electric and fish. And sometimes when you do a cast, you miss the fish a little bit, and then it's good to be two people, two rods. And then I can do an accurate cast. Oh, we need to go to yeah. be more active. Go, 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 go. Go, go, go. And it's all about finding the right fish. You can fish on, you see fish everywhere, but we want to fish on the big fish. Just look at the fish, make some cast. If it's a really decent one, you can fish for five minutes on it if you want to. But if it doesn't look good, we'll just move on. Oh, you were just close to yeah. You come outside, we just try a little bit, but uh, yeah, it's not easy. First, the wind, and we have no experience on this uh, this type of fishing. So it's uh, it's not easy for somebody that knows how to use it. So it's, yeah, it's tricky, but it works. And it's the only way that I think to catch something nice. So we have to try anyway, but it's, it's not easy. It was something, yeah. No, no.
But we had one pike follow. You saw that? Yeah, follow, he just turned. Don't be so... Be positive now, my yeah, friend. Yeah, but it's a positive something that I never used. To yeah, I don't yeah, know yeah, shit about this. No. For me, it's like... Uh, it's, like it's, it's everything except fishing so far. If I know what to do, yeah, but... Clearly, some of the teams are really used to using live scan, where others are old school, relying on watercraft and traditional methods. Tobias, yeah. it seems like this is all over our league. What do you reckon we should do? I don't know really. I think we should do like traditional fucking drift fishing. We caught two fish during that. Yeah, yeah. I mean, this is this is definitely not our game. So, I mean, Vestin, they're only 32 centimeters in ahead of us. Yeah, I know. So, I mean, we only need a 120 centimeter pike. Yeah, or a 140 or something. But no, 120 and then we're in the lead again. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, maybe we should go drifting. I mean, it's our specialty. It is fish here, for, for sure. And you caught two fish. Yeah, I know. Here's a little bit of a of hack, everyone. This is a McHybrid in the glow shad pattern. And a lot of people, they think glow in the dark. Oh, it's a good color when it's dark. But it's actually not. Glow colors are often extremely good in clear waters and bright sunny days. Because what happens is that the glow reacts to the sun and makes an aura around the bait. So the profile of the bait will be much bigger for the fish. So it's easier to spot it. Hey, Klaus. Hello, gorgeous. I think we should do just a few casts. What do we know about? Casting, retrieving. Yeah, that's our casting, speciality after retrieving. all. Well, we uh, decided to go from the live stuff to uh, traditional drift fishing over the flats. Uh, we caught two fish before lunch this, doing this method and uh, we feel more comfortable casting. I'd say, I say we go out um, um, in the deeper water. Yeah. See if we can snatch uh, a pike there. Um, yeah. Okay. Let's give it an hour or so. Uh, yeah. And then we'll, we'll see. But, if we but have to. okay. Yeah. Let's do it like this. You, you are the one who, who more skilled than me in sonar, uh, especially with live. So let's say I will, I will just cast randomly pelagic. You will search and do the sonar, and uh, yeah, I will try to entertain you guys. Welcome to the last episode of the EFL. The battle of the live sonars. This is a back to back, back only episode. The battle of the sonars. I will I will go to check this fish before we make any any moves and I will because it's slightly more wind I have to be under the wind but I think we should sharpshoot it it's so yeah, it feels it's, like a sharpshooting fish yeah it's so in like in the mud or yeah. something it looks like it's fucking buried himself Now we found better fish. How would this be ready? It's moving really fast up to the boat. Go, 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 go. Oh yeah, I see now. Try, try to, uh, try with the, try to come here a bit. Yep, yep, yep. I'm on my yeah. way. Now, yeah, it's coming, it's coming. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Escape. Again. Yep. Ooh, nice. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> Holy moly, the escape technique worked again. Just escaping from it really <coughs> quick. Oh man. Great man. Yeah, freaking good teamwork. Freaking great. Yeah, I feel like we can do this. Okay, wait. 97. Yep. 
So for this type of fishing, me and Hanov had designed three rods to cover basically all situations. From or also for vertical fishing, they're quite good at that, but for short range casting very accurately. And Hanov, do they have a lot of backbone? <laughs> yes, yes, there's plenty of backbone. It's really good for setting the hooks with the short lines. If you're using big baits, it's definitely a good thing to have a backbone in the rod. Yeah. The V3 live cast series from Vestine Fishing. Go check them out for vertical fishing or live casting. Awesome rods, awesome rods. Yeah, we uh, trying to locate some bigger fish. It's not easy. Uh, we haven't done this so much, so it's very hard for us to to say how big the fish actually are. Uh, and also, uh, the wind has picked up, so that's also a little bit more tricky. Oh, it, you, you missed it. Yeah, yeah. Oof. He just... Um, he took it. Yeah, he took it, yeah. Oof. I saw when it yeah, just... It's too fast. Yeah, look. Yeah, but that, that was a really good. It must be fun, actually, when you understand how it works. I mean, I can understand why uh, why you, do people do it. Yeah. You it's, did, quite, uh, it's quite you fun. You did a good uh, presentation there. Yeah, but don't... don't no, 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 no. But if you... Uh, yeah. If you understand how it works and you have results, I think you have you have good fun. But it's quite frustrating when you don't know how to, how it works. The only way is to target him, target them like this. We need to try. We had a bite, so it's always the chance. There are some big fish. We can anytime catch a really big one like that. So we need to try. Of course, it doesn't work uh, shallow. It doesn't work uh, drifting in the middle of. Uh, you know, they are really near the bottom. You really have to cast near them. So. The only way is to use that. We can see this morning nobody has been catching anything except the guys in the shallow bays, spawning place. And uh, even the wasting team, they were exactly fishing where they got them on the, on the live scope and they don't catch anything blind. So you really need to have this, uh, this kind of technology if you, want to, if you want to target those fish. So we try and uh, if we're lucky we can catch something big. Yeah, and we really... We really want one over meter here. Yeah, we need one like this, for yeah. sure. We had a really good spot at the, at the training where we saw many fish, so we're gonna go there now and try there for, for a while. And uh, it's not so much wind there, so it's easier for us to, to fish that spot. Looky, looky! Oh, it's a nice one. There, oh shit, now. Perfect, perfect, absolutely perfect. Now take this, come on. Oh, yes, good! Decent good part. fish, this is a good fish. Pike. Ooh, it's a monster! That's a monster! <laughs> yes, finally! <laughs> oh, oh, it was so heavy in the bite. Oh, cool! It's a hundred. Good. <laughs> now you're gonna have Swedish fika. <laughs> Great pike. Now we only need one more. Then, oh, it's a, it has a pike in the mouth. Uh -huh. A really big pike as well. Cool. Yeah. So cool. And then it's it's a fresh fish as well. Oh, look at this beauty. Look at this beauty. Good work. <laughs> <laughs> nice. What a pike. What a pike. What a beautiful pike. So nice. And I will show you guys them in the mouth. Look here. Can you see it? Shit. <laughs> cool. It's heavy. Yeah.
Yeah, a really beautiful pike, Victor. Yeah. 94 centimeter, really fat and healthy pike. And now we just need one more over 90 to have a chance to take the second place. Yeah. So let's release it. Good work. <laughs> bye bye, beauty. See you another day. <laughs> cool. Yeah, that's why we are live scope fishing. Now we take one more. Catch big ones. Yeah, we need one more. We need to take the second place from Abu. It's a really cool strike. You know, when you're fishing this style and when you're winding the line and you are pretty close to the boat and you get this, uh, the, the bite on a vertical line, bam, it's, it's something special, something special. But what a struggle it has been, Moge. Yeah, it's been a struggle. It's been, it's been, uh, a, it's been a, a war, a fighting war. <laughs> Fish! Oh! Ah! Oh. <laughs> it's a small one. A lot of these ones today. Super angry small males on weedless, weedless rigged rubblers. Let's uh, release it. Let's give it a, a big fish release. <sighs> oh, oh, I found it. Yeah. And this looks good. Yeah, yeah, it should be. Now we see it on the perspective. Yeah. Yeah, this is uh, this should be better fish, but this is moving super fast. Yeah. It's oh oh go go go! It's it's old. Engine. 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 Yeah, but it's off. Oh. Huh. Oh shit! It's moving fast. Make a new cast if you don't see. Is it the one in the 14? Yep. Oh. Wait. Now. Yeah. yeah. Now good. it's good. Fantastic. Yep. Up, oh, up. Oh, it's turning. It's coming. It's pipe. Yep. <laughs> uh, the one on the bolt is curly. <laughs> is it upgrade? Uh. Oh, so fat. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> Did you see? There's bream in the belly. Was it a bream? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> yeah, it's upgrade. It's upgrade, yeah. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. More front. Yeah. Right there. Sintan. 95 centimeters. <laughs> Look at this bream. You can actually see it down there. You can see the tail of the bream. Five centimeter upgrade. <laughs> the bream is just like... This tummy is so full. <laughs> The other guys in this competition are super skilled pike anglers, super skilled pike anglers. But they thought that this was easy. They haven't even trained for this. You can see it on the score. I mean, this, just because you have live scope, the fish are not jumping into the boat. No. And that's what people might think, but watch, some of the best anglers in Europe. What's it's, happening? It's not that easy. We, we all have live scope in the boat. Yep. <laughs> Hanu is the king of live scope. I can tell you, I can tell you. Yeah, but it's hard for me when you're saying, yeah, oh, Hanu is the best, Hanu is the best. I'm like, I wanna go. <laughs> I've never seen anything like it or heard anything like it. I mean, but it's, it's, like, it's so cool to see like these super skilled anglers just being so humble and almost like embarrassed when you say that they're awesome. <laughs> Thanks, man. You're great. Thanks. Good work, Klaus. The same to you, buddy. It's you, been a blast as always. You have fished really good. You we too, have had man. a lot of uh, singing, positive energy. And uh, I'm afraid we didn't make it to the, the first place, 
but a contest is a contest. Yeah. Today, it's been a struggle. It and, has um, Great start in the morning, though. Yeah, great start. Um, Fox did a really good job, so... Yeah. And they were... They were the only team that we didn't want to upgrade, but that's life. You sure did, and I think they yeah. will end up third. Or what do you say, Per? If you have the bait in the water, <laughs> it's not over. Okay. It's over when I wind in, so we're gonna troll back the whole way to the launching. <laughs> uh, good work today. Yeah. We had a great day. We are not lost. No, you're totally right. We did a really great day, I think, in yeah. total. It was really hard for us, live fishing, but... The morning was fun. Yeah, the w yeah we crashed it in the morning. Yeah, it was fun. Uh, we didn't have any luck with the big one. We really tried to catch one good fish, but... Super difficult. Yeah, the big ones was really, really difficult to catch. Possible to find a fish. But hey, we give it a try. Yeah, but you, you should. Yeah, but we shouldn't practice on this during competition. Of course. So it's of uh, course. It's it's uh, it's like but this. It was the only way to get them. We have to try anyway. We yeah, of course. And you know, one bite, and we could. Be, uh, yeah, it's it's like that. And so to the winners. But before that, let's visit the day. It has been drama and joy. Throughout the morning, Abu went into the competition final day in the lead. They couldn't quite make the most of it and nor could the defending champions, CVC. Akuma, well, they were catching fish, but only one big enough for the upgrade. There was a huge battle with Fox, who managed to catch a few fish and leapfrog a little bit up the table but the joy of the day went to our overall winners. They understood what the challenges were. They worked their technology incredibly. And today they are the worthy winners. Ladies and gentlemen, let me present to you the champions. It's Westin. <laughs> Gentlemen, congratulations, well done. Well, Fish, you are indeed the champions. Well, that's a brilliant job. Well done by Westin. And this is how it ended. The extra points from Holland have been added to the scores to give Westin an incredible total of 765 centimetres for eight fish. Abu Garcia finish a very commendable second, with last year's winner's catch with care drop into fourth. And finally, Akuma bring up fifth place. We are really thankful for Team Westin in Holland, Luke, Tun and uh, Dietmar. They did a fantastic job for us. Yeah. I'm so happy for it. Super cool team effort. It's super cool to have it coming from Holland all the way to Finland. And we're <coughs> jumping one place every day. Yes. Catching fish and catching fish. <laughs> Once again, it's been a brilliant tournament and a fantastic display of angling by all teams. This has been the European Fishing League, Season 2.